I'm Marvin, the tap dancing horse. Dance, 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 dance. Just shine that spotlight on me. Every show must have a star. Dance, 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 dance. Wow! A carnival! <laughs> I, I hate setting up this carnival. Oh. I need to freshen up in the worst way. Setting up tents uh, is too intense for me. Marvin, when are you gonna have that talk with Fast Talk and Jack? Well, I've been waiting for the right time. You know how it is, Jack's a busy man. He's not that easy to find. Hey, how's it going, gang? Ooh, this is really hot work. Come on, now's your chance. Here he is. Go ahead. Hurry, Marvin, before he gets away. <clears throat> Jack, we need to have a talk. We're short-handed here. You know, I was just thinking the same thing, Marvin. You were? You were? Yes, sirree. I've got plenty of paperwork to do, and you got a show to rehearse. Exactly. Why don't you take a break in the staff tent while I go do some hiring? Thank you, Jack. Wait a minute, we haven't put up the staff tent yet. Hmm. Well, uh, get it set up, and then take a break. My treat. <sighs> wow, a dancing horse. You looking for a job, kid? I said, are you looking for a job? Hmm? Terrific! I'm the owner here, Jack's the name. Fast talking, Jack. Hi. And what's your name? <coughs> Edward LaRue the third. Edward LaRue the third? Hmm. Well, that won't do if you're gonna be working here, kid. No siree. Um, let me see. How about, uh, hmm. E Eddie Largo? Great! Eddie Largo it is! You can start right away, Eddie. Come with me to the office and we'll get you all signed up. Excuse me, but we're not open yet. Hello? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I... I just started here. Oh, well that's different then. Welcome aboard! I'm Marvin! Hi, I'm Edward Le... Uh, I mean Eddie. Eddie Largo. <laughs> Sounds like you're not sure. No, I'm sure. I saw your picture on the poster. You're the dancing horse. The tap dancing horse. Here we go, let's get on with the show, cause I just gotta dance. Music up, spotlight on, flash that magic glance. Turn on the charm and follow me. Let the music set you free. My name is Marvin, and I just gotta dance. Watch me move, follow my lead. Tap, 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 one, two, three. Hear the music, feel the beat, just like do -re me When the world is getting you down, grab your shoes and we'll paint the town. Just let go and dance, dance, dance. That was great!
Thanks. Come on, I'll introduce you to the others. Hey, Diamond, I'd like you to meet someone. This is Eddie Largo. He just started working here. Oh. Hi. Hello, Eddie. Do you have any peanuts? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I love peanuts. <laughs> Me too. I'll bring some next time. I can tell already that we're going to get along very well. Thanks. Come on, there's someone else you should meet. Bye, Diamonds. It was a pleasure meeting you, Eddie. Hey, Stripes. Not now. I'm working on a new roar. Yes, I like that one. I've got someone here who'd like to meet you. Mm. This is Eddie Largo. Jack just hired him. He did? Well, it's about time we got some more help around here. Shake hands. He won't hurt you. Pleased to meet you. I've got a list of things to do as long as my tail. Listen, make sure you put plenty of milk on my crunchy critters. I like them nice and soggy. Excuse me? Anybody home? I I'm sorry. I was looking at your eyes. They're so green. Yeah. That's what everybody says. Hey, Elizabeth! <gasps> Meet the newest member of our crew, Eddie Largo. Actually, Marvin, I'm in a bit of a hurry, and... Eddie, meet Elizabeth, the emotional pig. There's a name to be proud of, huh? I don't mean to be rude. It's just that I have something very important to do. What have you got there, anyway? No, please! <gasps> wow! Are you a fortune teller? No, she's an emotional pig. That's her claim to fame. So, why'd you take Edna's crystal ball? <gasps> I didn't take it. I, I'm just borrowing it. Does Edna know? She's gone to town to get lemons. Edna makes the best lemon ice in the county. So what are you going to do with it, Elizabeth? <gasps> well, I, I thought maybe I could see my future. Here, put it down and you can have a look before Edna gets back. I don't see anything. Here, let me have a look. Uh, oh, do you see anything, Stripes? No. You're fogging it up with your sniveling. Hmm. Oh. 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 Did you see something awful? Yes, your snout really close up. I've watched Edna. She just stares into it, kind of like she's in a trance. And she waves her hands over it. Oh, do you think I should try? It wouldn't hurt. Do you see anything, dear? No! It can't tell you anything if you don't ask it a question. Of course, that's it. Ask it a question. Okay, now, let's see. Oh, Crystal Ball, tell me... Oh! No! Oh, great gorillas! Now what's the matter? I don't know what to ask. Let me try. Tell me, all-knowing crystal ball. Tell me your secrets. Do you see anything? Yes. I see Edna on her way back here. Oh, dear! Oh! Oh! See ya. Oh, no! Oh, what will I do? What will I tell Edna? She'll never speak to me again. I didn't mean to. Oh. Pipe down, Elizabeth. I'm trying to read. Diamonds, you and Elizabeth clean up this mess. Eddie and I better see if Edna's back. What will you say to her? My advice? Admit nothing. Ah! Oh, the fresher they are, the better they sting. Hi, Edna. Busy making the best lemon ice in the county, I see. What are you after? A free sample? Oh, no, not me. Uh, I just wanted to see how things were going. Is this the new hired help? Edna knows all. That's right. I'm Eddie Largo. Pleased to meet you, Eddie. Now, there's a confident grip. Just what I need to finish squeezing these lemons. Come around back and wash your hands. Where are you going? To the fortune teller's tent? Why on earth do you want to go there? Why not? What's the matter with you? Here I am. You have to show Eddie how to squeeze the lemons. And I have to rehearse a new dance number. I'll see you later, Eddie. Bye, Marvin. Hmm. 
He's up to something. I don't need a crystal ball to tell me that. That's good. I mean, um, so how do you squeeze these things? Good. You cleaned up all the glass. Now what are we going to do? Like I said, admit nothing. That's not the answer. Suppose Edna asks us if we know what happened to her crystal ball. That's right. If she asks, we can't lie. Maybe she won't ask. Then we won't tell her. <laughs> and she won't have her crystal ball to tell her what happened. Oh, this is all my fault. I'll have to tell her. I can't carry this guilt for the rest of my life. Hey, everyone. I learned how to squeeze lemons. Yep, this kid's a natural. Hmm. Seems awfully quiet around here. Is there something going on I ought to know about? Going on? <laughs> what could possibly be going on? Do you know about anything going on? I only know that I have to be going. It's just a normal, ordinary, everyday day around here. Isn't that right, Elizabeth? <laughs> yes, it's just a normal day for Elizabeth, too. She is emotional, after all. I broke your crystal ball! <laughs> well, did you get another one from out under the counter? What? Well, there's a whole box of them in my trailer. You mean there's no power in the crystal ball? Well, not for me, but my public demands one. But then, how do you tell all those people so much about themselves? It's all in the eyes, dear boy. I look into their eyes. Oh. For instance, I know Eddie Largo isn't your real name. <gasps> You're right. How did you know that? When Marvin introduced you, I could see the uneasiness in your eyes. That's amazing. Why didn't you tell us your real name? Because it's Edward LaRue the Third. Edward LaRue the Third. I like that. Yes, it sounds quite distinguished. We don't mind using that name. Well, I kind of like Eddie Largo now. Then we like it too, Eddie. I can see something else. Oh, what is it, Edna? I can see that we're all going to be very good friends. <laughs> and I don't need a crystal ball to tell me that either. Anything interesting in the news today, Stripes? Not in this section. Why'd you give me the classifieds, Eddie? Sorry, Stripes. Elizabeth has the rest of the paper. She should be finished with it pretty soon. Now she can keep it. It'll be too soggy by the time she's done reading it. Oh. Oh. What did I tell you? Oh. How can they print this kind of thing? Uh-oh. Has the price of ice cream filled chocolates gone up again? No, it's my horoscope. It says someone close to me is leaving. Oh. Well, if you come any closer, it's gonna be me. I thought I'd talk to Edna. She's a fortune teller. She'll tell me if it's true. Eddie, maybe you should just give her the comic section from now on. I've tried that already. Even Winky's World makes her cry. Huh. The slime carnival's hiring again. Says here, no experience required. No self-respect required either. Anyone who'd work for a lime and slime has got to be desperate. Or a clown. Clowns? Whoa. I'd shave my stripes off before I'd work with a clown. Ta-da! Nice job, Eddie. Thanks. Try them out, Marvin. Five, six, seven, eight. Thank you, thank you. And for my next number, I'm gonna tap my way over to the ice cream wagon. I'm right behind you, Marvin. Hello, Stripes. Morning, Diamonds. Don't mind me. I'm just going to do my stretching exercises. Oh, right here? Of course, silly. Where else would I do my stretches? <gasps> oh, this is more elephant than I want to see all at once.
Pleasure dancing with you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at the nice ducks. <laughs> we tore down the carnival posters, Lyman. Good. You can put these up. Slime Carnival. Hmm. Those are the ones we've been tearing down. What? You said if we saw any carnival posters to get rid of them. I didn't mean ours. I meant these. Oh. oh. Hey, well, we'll have our posters back up in no time, boss. I got the hammer. <laughs> and I got the nails. Let's roll. <laughs> Tap dancing horse. <sighs> I was just taking down the poster because... Uh, because this is a no poster zone all along the street. You probably didn't know that. Actually, I'm looking for the police station. I'm lost and I can't remember who I am. You don't know who you are? No, I've forgotten everything. I'm hoping that someone has reported me missing. This is your lucky day, because I know who you are. You do? Sure. You're Ella... Broadbottom. Ella Broadbottom? That's right. You worked at the Slime Carnival for years. I have? Yes. You, oh, you love it there. Don't worry, I'll take you back home and things will be back to normal in no time. You're so kind. I know. Diamonds! Diamonds! <sighs> I wonder where she could be. <laughs> Not a trace, but I checked her tent and her suitcase is still here. It's like she vanished into thin air. Ahem. And that's not an easy thing to do if you're an elephant. Stripes, did you check the lunchroom? Yep. I looked for peanut butter prints and I didn't see any. I'll ask Jack if he's heard anything yet. <laughs> here we go again. Get your umbrellas out. <laughs> oh, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> My horoscope was right. Edna even saw the same thing in her crystal ball. Don't go by that. Edna steals her daily predictions from the same newspaper. Diamonds will come back. You'll see. She's never missed a show. Where could she be? I think the boss is not sending us here for these clothes. Yeah, I still say it would have been way easier to give that elephant a pay job. See, these are nice. I'm keeping them. Get your shoes back on. We gotta get out of here! Hey, what's that? Diamond sock? How would this get out here? Oh no! Well, it is possible that Diamonds is just having a romantic getaway with someone special. Yeah, someone else who's also over 600 pounds and has peanut breath. <clears throat> Marvin! Someone took a bunch of clothes from Diamond's tent. There's a trail of her stuff all the way out the back gates. <gasps> hey, I see something else. Are these underwear? It's not a parachute with leg holes, kid. Load them on, Eddie. I'm wearing the rest of her clothes. I might as well wear those, too. That's the end of the trail. Now what do we do? Head back home and find someone else who wears 54 Petite. <laughs> I just found another clue. Huh? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. Diamond's working for Lime and Slime? Why would she sell out like this? It can't be for the money. Lime and Slime pays peanuts. Mm -hmm. Or maybe that's why. 
No wonder she didn't say anything to us. She was too ashamed. Well, I think we've known Diamonds long enough that she owes us some kind of explanation. But Lyman Slime won't let us in his carnival. You know what he's like. Hey, the competition stays out. Scram! You got that right, kid. Oh dear, he's right. Hmm. We'll have to go undercover. That lady in the ticket booth is sure looking at us funny. Don't worry about it, Eddie. This is the slime carnival. <gasps> They're weird around here. Oh dear, I don't like being in this place. Keep your snout dry, Elizabeth. The last thing we need is your beard falling off. <gasps> there she is! Diamonds! Are you brothers? She's a clown now. I guess that's supposed to be funny. Wait! It's our disguises. Of course. Ta-da! Oh, that's very entertaining. Thank you. Aren't you surprised to see us? Yes. Not many people bring all their pets with them. Pets? You've forgotten us already, Diamonds? Diamonds? Oh, this is terrible. I thought my name was... Oh, that bump. Ooh, that bump? Only a clown would have a ridiculous name like that. No, I bumped my head. That's it. When did you bump your head? I don't remember. That explains why you've forgotten everything. It does? I don't remember forgetting everything. Don't worry, Diamonds. There's nothing you've forgotten that we can't teach you again. I'm a tap dancer by trade. But I can probably teach you the ballet basics you've forgotten. And I can show you how to do the Charleston, just like you showed me. Well, they got the dance steps covered. Hmm, do you remember how to drink through your nose? And I can give you some coaching with your famous ball balancing act. Oh! 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 Oh, no! Uh -oh. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, dear! What? Oh, dear. Hey, oh, pull it right oh, there! Oh, you know, there's something familiar about that. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh! 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 That's right. And then the crowd starts laughing, and then she runs off in tears. Oh, this is terrible! It's just terrible! And they're all laughing at me. And then he says, Oh, oh dry, dry up, up Elizabeth. Elizabeth! Marvin! Eddie! Stripe! Elizabeth, I remember now. Oh, my friends. What am I doing here? I hate to break up the happy reunion, but... Oh, Unless we're staying for some clown wrestling, I think now would be a good time to leave. Thank you, Eddie. You don't know how much I appreciate that. No problem, Diamonds. I wouldn't want my face up there with them either. Oh, Eddie, you're so thoughtful. So, Diamonds. Are you going to keep it for a souvenir? Oh, goodness, no. I don't want anyone else finding out I was ever a clown. Don't worry, Diamonds. We won't tell a soul. <sighs> Do you think she knows she's still wearing clown makeup? <gasps> I better tell her. Hold on, kid. Let's let her dressing room mirror tell her. <laughs> yeah. It'll give us something to look forward to. 